What is up, everybody? Happy Monday. The regular season has come to a close. The playoffs are about to begin tomorrow. We're going to talk all about everything that happened over the weekend, the bracket, the playoff brackets. Alex and I are both going to do our playoff predictions, which are always highly anticipated. We're going to do playoff power rankings amongst all the teams remaining. We got a lot to discuss. Things got wild over the weekend. It's going to be crazy over this next month or so. We got you all covered here on Flippin' Bats. Let's get to it. Five ball onto the track. At the wall. It's gone. Home run. Turns on a ball. Deep right field. And gone. What a game. What a moment. What is up, my friends? The regular season is over. But, like, what an exciting, beautiful chaos final weekend of the regular season. Like, as a baseball fan, this is all you can hope for, to have, like, the last two games, the last weekend really, like, determine so many teams' futures. There were, like, eight teams that had no idea whether yeah. they are going to be in or what their seating was going to be all the way until – at least Saturday, Saturday and then Sunday, there were still some things Bay up for West. grabs and it turned out to, to be probably the least likely scenario heading into the final like, weekend. What? Um, so we're going to talk all about that. Um, yeah. Uh, playoff predictions. You know, Alex, I, I, I think I might not miss a, a playoff. Series. I think I'm going to go perfect. It's going to be the reverse. Everybody did likes it. You? Yes, did <laughs> I sure did. Two years I ago, sure did. you didn't get a single one correct. Mm -hmm. And then last year, you went what? Better. <laughs> <laughs> not great, not bad, but I, better. I, do, I, okay. I know I picked the World Series winner last year. Um, uh, well, let me tell you one tough. thing I've learned. What? I learned first year I did it. Okay. Beginning of the season. First year of flipping bats. Spring training, I say, World Series is going to be the Atlanta Braves over the Houston Astros. Well, we all know that became true, but going into the playoffs, I like got really cute with the bracket. Like, okay, this is going to happen. And this is going to happen. No, no, no. Ben is wiser and go with your gut. Go, go with, with your, your gut. go with your like initial reaction. I didn't feel good. I say I did that with mine. I don't feel good about a couple of them, but I wow, mm. already doubting your own bracket. I'm you not even doubting. I'm just Tough. upset. Um, Alex, a lot happened over the weekend Yep. and I don't even like, I mentioned it with the AL West, but I can't quite fathom the result. Like you, there were three possible outcomes and this yeah. seemed like the least likely one. Well, and no, it seemed like no one wanted to win it. Like this, well, la this last couple of weeks yeah. of the season, like it could have been the Rangers Astros and Mariners even had a possibility of like somehow sneaking in and yeah. taking that, taking that first one. But with the Rangers and the Astros win, it kicked the Mariners out yeah. of the playoffs on Sunday, but then Sunday determined who was going to win the AL West. I probably should have mentioned before this point that the Astros did win the American league West yes. and it all came down to Sunday uh, and, and as Alex just mentioned, the way both series had played out with the Mariners winning the first two, um, the Rangers kind of it, just everybody got closer and closer mm -hmm. together. But then it all comes down to Sunday and the Mariners had been eliminated. It, Saturday night, the Mariners uh, end up being eliminated. Heartbreaking. Astros had won the first two games against the D-backs, so they were still one game behind the, the Rangers. And then Sunday... All the Rangers needed to do was win and you win the division against a team that was just eliminated and yeah. isn't playing for anything. I mean, they ran into George Kirby, who threw great. But yeah. like the teams, it meant nothing. And the Mariners scored one run. And that's all it took. It was a one nothing ball game, the biggest game of the year, a massive game for, for the Rangers, obviously, to win the division, yes. But mm -hmm. seeding wise, you go from the two down to the yeah, to a wild card team, just like that. Next yeah. thing you know. You're having to play the Rays as the five seed, and you got to play the four seed in the first round. And that's just, I mean, worst case scenario, 
for the Rangers there. I mean, what an absolute choke job on Sunday. Well, I think the worst case scenario was that the Rangers, they've been streaky the second half of the season, obviously, right? They were great the first half, really had control of the AOS, and then went on that really tough slump. Then they seemed to start to kind of get the juice and the flow back and and started to win some games and and look like they could once again possibly win the AOS. But then the last seven of the 10 games were against the Mariners and went on another bad slump at the wrong time. And now they're facing a team in Tampa Bay that is kind of on that opposite side yeah. and playing really good baseball yeah. right now. Um, so Astros end up winning the AOS. Never doubted it. There were never any doubts uh-huh. at any point. No, I, uh-huh. Clearly it was going to be the Astros. Not freaking out the entire time? <laughs> What a wild division it was this year. In the wise, wise words of Alex Bregman, everybody wanted to know <laughs> what it's going to be like when the Strohs don't win the division. But I guess we're not going to find out. Uh, that was a that was a pretty epic uh, speech to then pop the champagne that bottles. Sick. That was good. That was, that was great. great. Um, so yeah, AOS Mariners out altogether. Mm-hmm. Rangers, the five seed. The Houston Astros do wind up with a bye. When we... You could have told me if you were to, they could have been if, out. If you were to ask me last they week, what do you think is more likely to happen? The Astros win the division or miss the playoffs. I probably would have said miss the playoffs. Yeah. I always thought they were going to get in. Um, but did I think they were going to win the division? Everything needed to play out perfectly. They played really, really well against the diamondbacks. Uh, a couple good games in that series. Uh, Justin threw really, really well in mm-hmm. the clincher on Saturday, uh, five shutout innings there. A uh, huge game, and then they end up uh, dominating on Sunday. Justin really having back-to-back really important dominating starts that ultimately helped this team get into the postseason. 13 innings, last 13 innings, one run, and he didn't even give it up, but it's his run because he gave up a hit in the ninth in the against the Mariners. Mm-hmm. Gave up that hit in the ninth, ends up coming out, giving up that run, comes in. That outing, five innings, no runs. Yeah, 13 straight innings. Um, 13 innings with just one run. So Astros end up winning the division. Mariners out. Rangers wild card. That's crazy. Crazy. Let's move to the National League because you got the D-backs and the Marlins in and the Cubs out. What a collapse from the Cubs. Again, worst time to go on a losing streak. I mean, the writing was on the wall when they had the first two games in their hands against the Braves. Yeah. And then... They blew Say it. Suzuki, that play, that that's a loss. And then the next game, they they blow it. Bad defense in that game as well. Yeah, I mean, look, were the Cubs, did the Cubs overperform this year from what people thought? Yes. But does that make this any better? No. <laughs> no. I mean, this is a nightmare of a finish. And they're now uh, missing the playoffs. Marlins did end up getting in and the D-backs get in as well. We can see the D-backs are the sixth seed. Marlins end up being the five seed. So uh, what Alex and I talked about on, was it the Friday show? Hmm. All the possibilities. And then we talked about the, the Marlins Mets like postponement. That was Friday's episode. Yeah. So they're not going to go back to, they're not going back to New York to finish that game on Monday. This is locked in Marlins are the five diamondbacks are the six. They end up a half a game ahead of the D backs. The reason they don't have to go back and play that game is because even if they lose, yeah, they hold the tiebreaker over the Diamondbacks and would be the five anyway. Honestly, like I'm happy for them because that would suck. It would suck. Like you're one day off where everybody has a day off to kind of reset before you get into the postseason. You have to fly to New York and play one inning. That would have that's just brutal. Yeah. Yeah. You know what else is brutal? Felix Batista undergoing Tommy John surgery. Yeah, that's tough. I so Felix Bautista, the closer, one of the best closers in baseball this year before he went down with his UCL injury, uh, will not be coming back for the playoffs and will be getting Tommy John surgery. And I, I just, I'm confused by this. Yeah. So we knew he had a UCL injury. We weren't really like, we didn't hear the words Tommy John at any point until this. He was throwing like sim games. He was throwing off a mound. So maybe they thought he could come back and then re like it got worse. Well, it just feels like a waste of time now. Yeah. He's could been out been. for a while. You yeah. could have gotten the surgery when he first went down. Yeah. And now guess what? Next year, this Orioles team that in case anybody isn't seeing the obvious here, they're not going anywhere no, they're, they're for great. a long time. You're going to be in the playoffs next year. 
Okay. So he comes back next year, post all-star break. Uh, I mean, he went down a little later than that, but mm -hmm. post trade deadline around then. And yeah, yeah, there's a possibility he can pitch for you next year in the playoffs. That seems unlikely at this point when he's getting Tommy John in the beginning of October. Yeah. I just look, they they're better off with him. Obviously he's incredible in the back end of their bullpen with Yanir Cano and Felix Bautista was the best eight, nine in baseball this year. But I, it just felt like they just were hopeful. So they didn't get the surgery just because they were hoping something could happen. Um, but all in all, big blow for the Orioles that he will not be on the team in the postseason and will be undergoing Tommy John. But future's looking pretty good for the Orioles. And they yeah. got to feel really good heading into this postseason. Bird bath. Bird bath. Come and We're soon. manifesting <laughs> it. We are manifesting the bird bath, which makes me uh kind of have a feeling that we both put the Orioles in a position to where we would be going we shall to see. Baltimore and checking out the bird bath. I don't know your, uh, we I don't shall know yours see, either. but it is time, Alex. This is big. Yeah. Playoff predictions. Uh, every year we do it. <sighs> it's a big thing. You're I, we're going to keep track of it, obviously. And people are going to say, Ben, it's terrible at predictions. <laughs> and well, you know, nothing. You okay. Know nothing. It's a prediction. And I, I'm like sweating. Oh, you didn't hear? I'm sweating. I'm a fortune teller. Yeah. With that said, <laughs> it is time to get to it. The 2023 playoff bracket is set, and we are going to do our predictions now. All right. Well, let's start with the four series that we do know the matchups, the wild card round, starting with the Blue Jays and the Twins. Yeah, this series to me is a lot about pitching. Yeah. Right, the Twins have really good pitching in Sonny Gray, who is one of the more underrated pitchers in baseball this year. Joe Ryan, really good himself. Uh, the, these They can pitch, and that's mm -hmm. what they do really well. The Blue Jays, though, I you know, the reason I picked them to go far this year at the beginning of the year was because of their offense, but it's ended up they got carried because of their, their pitching as well. Mm -hmm. Kevin Gosselin on the mound, Jose Barrios has been really good as well. Um, so that's what both of these teams can can pitch really well. Um, all in all, I think that series is going to be, look, the six versus three matchup is kind of the interesting one where uh -huh. you almost want to be the five seed because the, the four seed typically is the just the best, or it is the best runner up in a division. Yeah. So instead of playing the Rays, if you're the Blue Jays, you get to play the Twins. But I've been saying this for a couple weeks now, don't sleep on the Twins. They pitch really, really well. They have really good stuff. They got Duran coming out of the back end of the bullpen, throwing 103. And uh, who knows? I, I don't know what we're going to get out of Carlos Correa in the playoffs. He's been hurt mm -hmm. for a while, but he is a playoff guy. I'm excited about this series. Uh, I know we're going to do our, our full predictions in a second, but uh, I do have the Twins winning this series. All right. Let's move to the next AL wildcard matchup, which uh, <laughs> the Texas Rangers uh, decided that's where they wanted to be last game of the regular season against the Tampa Bay Rays. Yeah, I think this is going to be a, a, a different story than that first one. I think there's going to be a lot of offense yes. in this series. Rangers have one of the best offenses in baseball and have all year long, though it didn't go great uh, mm -hmm. down the stretch. And the Rays, after their historic start, uh, had an equally an equal length of time downfall. Yeah. And then picked it back up for the, the, the ending of the season and, and have been really good. The Rays are really good heading into the playoffs. They've been a really good team all year. They just barely couldn't catch the Orioles at the end of the year. Yeah. And now they're looking at that top wild card spot in the American League. I think they're going to have a lot of offense. This series is going to have a lot of offense. Remember, with all of these series, with these wild card rounds, it's best of three, and every game of this series is at the higher seed stadium. So these will all be at the trop. Big home field advantage for the Rays, not because of crowd, though I do think the crowd will yeah, be do you there think? for the playoffs. Yeah, maybe. I hope. Yeah, I hope. you hope so. Again, if any Rays fans are hearing this, don't get pissed. It's not the fans' fault. It's the stadium and, and yes. the commute and all that. I'm very supportive of Rays fans. I hope they show up for the playoffs. Uh, but, yeah, home field advantage, come, playing on that turf all year long, it's, it is It is a different – it's different. But, yes, all three of these are at home for the Rays. I have the Rays in this series. This is also crazy because these were two of the best teams in the first half of the season. Yeah. And then now they're the fourth and fifth yeah. seed. All right, well, let's move to the National League and our first wild card matchup, Ben. We have the D-backs, your big prediction at the start of the season that they would get into the playoffs, 
facing off against the Brewers. Let's just stop down for a second and appreciate what she just said uh, and go back to... You want a pat on the back for this? The date was April 14th, Okay, Alex. And here right. on Flippin' Bats, I said, and I quote, you know what? The D-backs are getting in the playoffs. <laughs> and here they are. They here made they it. are. They're the good sixth job. seed. Good job. Feel good about it. When nobody believed in them but Except me, you. they got in. And now they play the Brewers in the first round. Look, D-backs, young, mm -hmm. inexperienced in the playoffs, yeah. um, can cause a lot of havoc on the bases. Brewers pitch really well, can struggle to find offense at times. If there's ever a good matchup for the D-backs in the playoffs, I do believe it is against the Brewers. Uh, I, I imagine a world in which Corbin Burns is on the mound, mm -hmm. dominating, but somebody for the D-backs is able to get on base, probably Corbin Carroll. Like the Corbins? Can steal a couple bases, and next thing you know, they, they just manufacture runs. They, to their credit, took advantage of the rules this year, the new rules, yeah. more than I think anybody. And, yeah. and they, young, a lot of speed, ran the base as well. And they brought, and look how, look what happened. They're in the playoffs. I do think they match up well against the Brewers and they're really good pitching. I think they can scratch across a couple runs. I would not be surprised if the D-backs win this series. Ooh, is that your pick? You gave your picks for the AL. I'm You're going to save you on them? Toes for this one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go to our I second. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's okay. I'm just keeping you. You're allowed to be indecisive. <laughs> Let's go to our second National League wild card. Let me get out of the way here, where we got Miami against the Phillies. Yeah, we got an NL East battle. That yeah. entire part of the bracket is all NL East down there. Marlins, yeah. Phillies, Braves, all there. Obviously, the Braves is the one seed. Get the bye. Um, Alex is trying to move in the right <laughs> direction, but she keeps going in the wrong direction. Yeah, okay. uh, we, <laughs> I'll just go in the corner. Can you just? Is that? Can you just get out? Just get the, the, the very edge of the <laughs> um, stage. It's a good, good matchup here. Uh, I, I think the Phillies are, are one of the more dangerous teams in the playoffs heading into the season. The most. Uh, the most? That isn't the top, like, the one and two seeds. Yeah, the Phillies are yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. the most dangerous team. Uh, Phillies and I think the Rays are in that conversation as well. But of all the teams that are going to have to play on wild card weekend mm -hmm. or week, whatever you want to call it, the week. Phillies are the most yeah. dangerous. Uh, I think they handle, I think they take care of the Marlins in this series. Marlins are good, end up getting in the playoffs. Good year for them. I think the Phillies are going to be too much for them. I, got, I have the Phillies there. Okay, so you gave all of them except for except for the D-backs Brewers? Just what I wanted to do. But okay. now it's prediction time. It anyway. is prediction time. All, all right. right. So, Alex, we put our brackets together. We did. I have mine. I'm going to break it all down. Okay. And then you have yours, and, and we'll do it that yep. way. Yep. If that works for you. You go. Okay, great. So, my bracket. As I mentioned, I have the Twins winning in the wild card series. I have the Rays. I have the Phillies and the series that I would not say for some reason. I do have the D-backs beating the Brewers. I think okay. that's going to be my one oh, wow. upset in the first round. So, okay, those are the first few. Then you move on on the top left of the bracket. Twins against the Astros. I'm going to take the Astros in that series. Twins yep. can pitch really well, but this is when you're a team that's built on your pitching, mm -hmm. having to play in the wild card round hurts you because then, yeah. okay, then you have to go face the number two seed without your top guy being able to go right away. Uh, I think the Astros can take care of business there. Then I, I really struggled with this matchup. Orioles, Rays, yeah. AL East battle. I ended up going with the Orioles there. And I think maybe it's just because I want to sit in the bird bath. Uh, it is. But they, they really did. They played the Rays well, uh, played the Rays well all year long, I felt. And uh, I, these two teams are obviously very familiar with each other, but I went Orioles there. So... On the American League side of things, I have the Astros and the Orioles in the ALCS. Moving over to the National League Success. side of the bracket. D-backs, as I mentioned, are my wild card, or the pick to win over the Brewers against the Dodgers. And then I have the Phillies against the Braves. I took the Dodgers over, I took the Dodgers over the D-backs. Another mm -hmm. NL. We could get a lot of division matchups. I know, matchups we are. Here. We're getting a lot of divisional matchups. Uh, and then another division matchup. A rematch from last year, Phillies and the Braves. I do think that's going to go a bit differently this year. Phillies ended up taking it last year. I think the Braves are, Braves have been the best team in baseball all year long. They're heading into the playoffs as the best team in baseball. They're great. So I went Braves there, getting a Braves Dodgers NLCS. So back on the American League side of things, I'm going to take the Astros against the Orioles. Mm -hmm. 
And on the NL side of things, I'm going to take the Braves over the Dodgers. So, Alex, let's go back in time again to the beginning of the season, spring training, okay. when I was asked my prediction for the year, and I said, and I quote, the World Series is going to be the Atlanta Braves against the Houston Astros, a rematch of 2021, but this time I think it's going to be a little bit different, and the Houston Astros are going to win. So I'm sticking with that. Um, I feel really good about the Braves. Astros coming in hot, big weekend. Um, I feel better about the Braves than I do the Astros, but I'm sticking with my prediction. And again, I, I'm not just doing this because I'm sticking with my prediction. Once you're in, one, I don't know if I would have stuck with this if they didn't get the two seed. It would have been yeah. a lot harder for them. Now they're right where they're right where they need to be. And you look up at the mm -hmm. end of the year, they're the two seed. They have more experience than everyone here. Yep. They have all the talent to do it. Uh -huh. Their pitching is going to be in good shape because of the bye. They were going to be in trouble if they had to get to the wild card round because Justin, Justin just, just pitched, pitched Saturday. Yep. Framber was probably going to go one, but then who are you going with two? Now they get time. They'll be able to schedule their rotation however they want to heading into that first series they have. Uh, and then this matchup here, mm -hmm. Astros-Orioles. Yeah. I mean, could this be the year that th – these two teams are built so similar – this one's just like a six years older. ahead. Yeah, so now, a little is, older. So now is this the year that they can make that jump? Because if the Orioles can do that this year, I think the American League runs through them for a long time to come. Yeah. But as of right now, it's still the Astros. It's been the Astros for seven years and six, seven years in a row. I don't think it changes this year. I still think they're talented enough to get there. And then you got the rematch in the World Series. The Braves are coming in as the better team. Yeah. The Braves have the deeper lineup. Uh, there are – pitching concerns with the Atlanta Braves. They can be beaten in the playoffs, uh, but I'm going to stick with my preseason prediction. When Justin was not on the team, I want to throw that out there, because guess this what's going to happen when this, fair. Happen when yeah. this bracket gets posted? Oh, well, your homer. Of you're taking your brother's no, team. No, what you should do is, like, if we have the clip or if we have, like, the tweet with the date of when you actually predicted this, That's put it logical. with it. People don't care. Why? Do it. It's, it's too logical. You remember the date. You remember the, the date when you picked the, the D-backs to make it in the postseason. That's because I, I have be producer petty. Taylor get me a video be petty. so I can post it. Just be petty. Po on. Post it off. I will be. So, be petty. I'm sticking with my prediction. Astros over the Atlanta Braves in the World Series. What a matchup that would be. Uh, so, yeah. Here's my full bracket. All right. Well, uh, it's kind of a giveaway when you get to see it all up front here. But let's start with the American League wild card. I am taking the Twins over the Blue Jays. This was just, this. Th there were a couple of these that it was just kind of gut feeling tough. Yeah, it could go either of, way. We're not fortune tellers. A lot of these are just a gut feeling. I mean, aren't, isn't all prediction fortune telling? <laughs> this, yeah. is, this is what I believe is going to happen. Even yeah. though, like, the game hasn't been played yet. Yeah. These are real people going out there. Okay, so we got Twins. Now let's move down to Tampa Bay and Texas. I think Tampa Bay was getting hot at the right time. Texas slumping at the wrong time. And uh, Tampa Bay is a complete team. I think they're going to take this wild card matchup. I'll stay on this side and we'll move to, I'm just going to go through the whole American League side. I'm going to do it a little differently than you. Okay. Okay. We're going to move to the ALDS. We have the Twins and the Astros. <laughs> the Astros just have the playoff experience. Bottom line is this is where experience matters. I believe the Astros are going to take this one. And then Tampa Bay and the Orioles, I just, I'm, drink, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm drinking the Baltimore Orioles Kool-Aid right now. They look great. They were hot coming into this. That's right. You're the drinking end of the out season. of the dong bong. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to call it a beer bong. Um, and I'm going to take the Orioles. Okay. So I have the Astros and the Orioles meeting in the ALCS. And this was tough. I, this was... I'm surprised. I know. I know. This, <laughs> if you're looking at my entire bracket right here, this is the first time I kind of went with my gut over my heart in a couple different ways. Um, and I'm taking the Astros over the Orioles. Okay. Now let's move <clears throat> to the National League side. Okay? Starting with the D-backs and the Brewers... I'm going to take the Brewers. Then you got Philly and Miami. I just, Philly's so dangerous. They're getting hot at the right time. I think they just, 
it's in Philly, and that is a whole other advantage yeah. when you're in that atmosphere, in that crowd. So I'm going to take Philly. And then we move to the NLDS. This is going to be great. These are, let me start at the top. Uh, Brewers, Dodgers. I'm taking the Dodgers. And then we got Philly and the Braves, a rematch. If this happens, this is going to be one of the most exciting, heartfelt series I think yeah, we get in the entire sure. postseason. Um, but Atlanta has been the best team all season. I think they show up and they show out. And there's a little bit of something to prove from last season. So I think Atlanta takes this, which... Leads to Dodgers, Braves, this and LCS. This is where it was really tough. And I didn't <laughs> want to make this call. You guys, normally I always pick... With your heart. <laughs> and I did not. Um, yeah, I think the last matchup that we saw in LA, Braves, Dodgers, we just kind of saw that the Braves are the complete team pitching, hitting. It was... I don't want to say it felt easy, but I just think, especially with their pitching and, and all the issues the Dodgers have dealt with with their starting rotation, I think the Braves, if they meet up in the NLCS, take this one, and we're going to get a Braves and an Astros World Series, and I'm going to take the Braves in the World Series. Great. So we both have an Astros Braves World yes, Series. Yes, we do. Meaning that is probably not what we're going to get, yep. but we are hoping yep. it is what happens. <laughs> Uh, running it back from 2021, that was a great series. Then uh, it would be it'd be great if if that ends up being the series again. So Alex and I's predictions are they're all out there now. There there ain't no going back now. I know. There ain't no going. This back one now. hurts. This one hurts. Yeah, you got your Dodgers losing in the NLCS. All right. Um, so Alex, it's Monday. What yep. we typically do every Monday is a new and improved and updated power rankings. Yep. Today, what we're gonna do is power ranking. All the playoff teams. So okay. there's 12. Um, we'll do 12 through one. Now, you'll only see 10 up here on the board, but there, there are the first two. Okay. And we'll start at number 12. Okay. And number 12, I have the Arizona Diamondbacks. And look, am I happy they got in? Yes. Are they... Do I think they can do a little bit of damage in these playoffs? I actually do. I do think that there's a chance they can upset the Brewers. You have? Did you pick I them? I sure did. I was like, them. wait, you picked them to upset the Brewers. Yeah. I had the Brewers. You had the D-backs. I do. I yeah. do have the D-backs. I do think, though, to, to start the playoffs there, probably uh, I have them at 12. Okay. At number 11, I have the Marlins. Mm -hmm. um, same sort of thing. Sneak in by the skin of their teeth. Uh, they can pitch. Offense can be sluggish at times, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I do have the, the Marlins here at number 11. So those are the, the two on the out. Now we have- Outside looking in. Yes. Now let's get to the top 10, okay? Yeah. At number 10, down two, two spots from the last power rankings, the Blue Jays. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of movement here from, from the last power <laughs> rankings. These are, this is just clean slate. Yep. Playoffs are beginning. Yep. Where am I ranking these 12 teams that are here? Uh, the Blue Jays are here at number 10 just because their their offense didn't do what I thought it should have this year. Vladdy Jr., for a little while now, has been a good Major League Baseball player, not an elite Major League Baseball player. No. And, and that's what they need out of him. And they didn't really get – their offense was very, very, very hit or miss this year. They do pitch well. I'm excited to watch them in the playoffs. The Blue Jays can do some damage if that offense heats up. But I do have them at number 10. At number nine, down three spots, the Rangers. Yeah, just what a colossal collapse. collapse yeah. Down the stretch. I mean, all you got to do is win. You, you just got to win on Sunday. You control your own destiny that entire series. And you couldn't get a single run. No. And yeah, they blew it. And to be honest, yeah, yeah, if they had won that game and ended up in the two seed, mm -hmm. I do think they'd be a little higher up because of, um, well, I just think the full collapse is a big reason that they're down here at number nine. Their path gets harder. Uh, they are they were 90 and 72 on the season. Really good year for the Rangers, but they're not playing their best baseball at the most important time of the year. I have them at nine. At number eight, down one spot, the Brewers. Yeah, the Brew Crew, they're going to pitch well, 92 and 70. This is always the story with the Brewers heading into the playoffs. Where's the offense going to come from? Can they put up enough runs to win ballgames? They will pitch. 
They will be lower scoring ball games. Can they put up the runs? They're here at number eight. At number seven, up two spots, the Twins. Yeah, the Twins, uh, again, I, I said it with my bracket. I'll say it again. Don't sleep on the Twins. Yeah. They pitch really well. They can put up runs. Uh, it's largely dependent. They've been for the last almost couple of weeks without Correa and Royce Lewis, which mm -hmm. is where a lot of their off, well, not from Carlos, but it could in the playoffs. Royce, so Royce yeah. Lewis has been a big part of their Grand offense Slam this machine. year. Uh, they pitch well. They have a good bullpen. Twins at number seven. At number six, down two spots, the Rays. Yeah, Rays are 99 and 63, end up getting in as a wild card team. Uh, yeah, I just, look, again, I'll say it. I know we have down from where they were last week. This was clean slate going into the playoffs. How do you feel about the teams that are in? Mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel good about the Rays. Would I be surprised if the Rays end up in the ALCS? No. Uh, no, I would. I do think they're a good team. I think their their path their path is going to be a little bit more difficult now that they're a wild card team and didn't end up winning the AL East. But if anybody knows how to win when you can't line up your pitching perfectly, they never line up pitching. Perfectly. Yeah, they just kind of throw anybody at you that they want. Uh, so the Rays are at number six. Now to the top five. Starting at number five, they were not in your last power rankings. The Astros. Yeah, you look up at the end of the year. The Astros are exactly where everybody or a lot of people thought they would be. And did it happen how everybody thought? Absolutely no. not. The complete, Last game of the season. <laughs> the complete opposite. But here we are. They come in with more experience than anybody on the American League side. Mm -hmm. They have, you know, a lot of their stars are healthy on offense. I know pitching-wise, they, they haven't had all their guys all year long. But they're fairly healthy. They have all their guys. They have all the experience. They have the buy. I mean, they're back. Mm -hmm. they're, they're back where everybody expected them to be. And uh, you, you better believe the, the American League still runs through the Houston Astros until somebody takes that away from them. And, yep. and why, why would you pick against that you can't. happening they have as, experience. Of, as of now? Until it happens. Yeah. Um, they have their yeah. guys. Everyone's healthy. Yep. All right. Number four, up one spot. The Phillies. I look. Yeah, I, they're not one of the four teams with a bye, but you better believe they're one of the four most dangerous teams in the playoffs. Yep. That offense is unbelievable. Um, their their pitching, their pitching is going to be the question mark. If you can get Zach Wheeler and Aaron Nola doing what they did last year in the playoffs, and Ranger Suarez, you're looking at a better team than that won the pennant last year. Yeah, and they got Zach Wheeler in game one. Yeah, so they're they're good to go. They're going to be locked in. Uh, it is going to be tough. Getting to the Braves with your pitching in, in kind of a bit of a mess, mm -hmm. but we saw it happen last year, and and we'll see we'll see what happens this year. But I wouldn't want to play the Phillies. No, good lord, they're 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 going to be a problem in the playoffs for sure. And and if they do end up matching up against the Braves, if they take care of the Marlins, it ain't going to be a cakewalk mm -mm. for sure. At number three, the Dodgers. Yep, Dodgers are. Uh, Dodgers are again NLS champions, again winning 100 games. 162 was their final total. Great season. Uh, this is where this is where the concerns came in for me, and this is where they got to prove, not just me, but anybody that doesn't believe in them to, to win the World Series or to get there, this is where it begins, right? Is their pitching mm -hmm. good enough to get to the World Series? Is it good yep. enough to win the World Series? That's the goal. It's not winning 100 games in the regular season. It's not winning the NL West. The goal is to win the World Series. And they have pitching issues that have caused me to not pick them to get to the World Series. It doesn't mean they can't. They're certainly talented enough to do yeah. it. But Mookie and Freddie leading that offense, they, the sky is the limit. Yeah. But they can only do as well as their pitching lets them. Uh, so I'm interested to see how they're going to line up their pitching rotation, how mm -hmm. all that's going to shape out. I think Bobby Miller should be the guy in the playoffs for them. He might be. But again, an experience. Young. Playoffs, yeah. most innings of his life. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see what they do. A lot of question marks, but that does not mean the question marks cannot be answered. At number two, the Orioles. Yeah, the number one seed in the American League. I'm pumped they got in. Yeah. I'm pumped for Orioles fans. Camden Yards is going to be rocking 101 and 61 on the year. The bird bath is going to be rocking. We are four Orioles wins away from me sitting <laughs> in the bird bath. That's it. I started talking about this before the All-Star break, 
And now we are just four wins away from it happening. The Orioles are here at number two. And at number one, the best team in baseball, the Braves. Yeah, the Braves are the best team heading in. 104 wins, 58 losses on the season. They have been the best team in baseball since that, since the Rays run at the beginning of the yeah. year came to an end. From that point onward, it was the Atlanta Braves. They have, they have the best offense I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, top to bottom, one through nine. Their nine-hole hitter has a better OPS than league average. I mean, they're they're so deep offensively. Uh, pitching, there has become concerns and some question marks that have arose, arisen, arised, arisen, arose. <laughs> Don't ask me. I'm <laughs> words are hard. I, I'm bad at this. They have had pitching concerns that <laughs> they got pitching concerns. There you All go. Right, we'll see what happens. But again. Best team in baseball, best offense I've ever seen. They're the number one team heading into the playoffs. And it all starts tomorrow. Doesn't that feel crazy? It, yeah! feels, like, it feels like we need it's some time. time. The regular season it's just time. ended. -uh. And now all of a one sudden, day. You get one tomorrow. day and let's go. Tomorrow, the yep. playoffs are starting. Woo! Tuesday, it all begins. Alex and I, uh, we're going to be locked in all playoffs here on Flippin' Bats. So, Stay tuned there. We're going to be doing a lot of live post-game shows at the end of every day to, to keep you updated on everything, similar to what we did last year. We're going to be doing most of our playoff game watching here yep. on this set and then going live right after the final game ends uh, until the ALCS when we will be traveling and on the road yeah. for the ALCS and the World Series. But for most of the nights throughout the first couple of rounds, if there's a clinching scenario or a lot of teams playing, Flippin' Bats will be going live immediately following the last out of the last game. And it'll be coming out as a podcast right after that overnight as it normally does. But you can also watch it live. Playoffs are here. Woo! Alex, tomorrow it all begins. Thank you all for listening. Also, the Flippies tomorrow. That'll be out bright and early on Tuesday. Our annual end of the year awards. Uh, everything from the main one, Cy Young MVP, to, to other ones. things. like. Worst umpire, best ejection, best bad flip, all of that stuff will be coming at you in the Flippy Awards. So make sure you check that out. But for this Monday episode, that does it. Thank you all for listening. Until tomorrow, my friends, make sure you subscribe wherever you listen to your podcast, Apple, Spotify. We're also on all social media, including YouTube, where you can watch every single thing we do at Flippin' Bats Pod for all of them. But that does it for this Monday episode. The regular season is done. The playoffs are here. Until next time, my friends, peace.